Hi, my name is Nancy Eisman, and I'm an individual marital therapist, and today the title for my movie is Guilt versus Shame. While it may seem that these words are synonyms, uh, there's a difference between guilt and shame. A very important difference, actually. I just made myself some Wild Mountain Blueberry coffee, so join me for a minute, hopefully with your favorite be beverage and a warm blanket and a fuzzy pet if you've got one. First, let's talk about guilt. Guilt says to us, I did something wrong or hurtful to someone else. Would it surprise you if I were to suggest that guilt is actually a good and necessary thing? Most folks do not like the feeling of guilt and would avoid it if at all possible. That's good. Having guilt feel unpleasant motivates us to do things well and not hurt others. We have a label for folks who feel zero guilt. Sociopath. Sociopaths are ca characterized by no feelings of guilt, no matter what pain they might cause to another person. Feelings of guilt actually come from our conscience, and our conscience lets us know when we have hurt someone and turns us from that behavior. There's nothing wrong with that. It socializes us. Well, what about shame then? How is shame different? Shame is actually not a good and necessary thing. Shame says to us, you are bad. Your existence is a waste, and you shouldn't even be alive. Pretty fun self-talk, huh? Unfortunately, it's all too common. It plays on our worst fear of being unlovable, which means to us in the deepest parts of our hearts that we will die alone. That's the worst thing that could happen to us because we are born hardwired for connection. Ultimately, though, shame is a lie, prideful, and a waste of time. Each person, no matter what they have done or not done, has inherent worth and value. When I describe this in my office, I talk about how much we love our kids when they are first born. Why do we love them? They're expensive. They keep us up all night. They perform various messy bodily functions on us. And yet we still love them quite intensely. Why? Because they are. That's a good enough reason. Their existence is enough for us to love them, pretty unconditionally and ferociously, actually. The lie that we believe when we have shame is that somehow in our lives we have been able to do or not do things that have had an effect on that truth about us. I did A, B, C, and D, so I am no longer worthy of being loved. Hogwash! You're still worthy of being loved no matter what. You may have consequences for your actions, and it may not be safe to be in relationship with you when you're under the influence of the pride that causes you to not be able to turn from your pain-inflicting behaviors. But your worth as a human being has never been in question. If you have guilt for something, something apologize and work to do better. Turn from the painful behavior. If you have shame, combat that by realizing the duality that you are imperfect, yes, but unlovable, no. You're both imperfect and lovable simultaneously. Then work to care for your own feelings and the feelings of others gently and kindly. It makes all the difference. If you'd like to make a, an appointment with me, my phone number is 317-605-7015. And I do offer e-counseling to residents of Indiana. And I hope you enjoyed the video today. And thanks for stopping by.